two. Right, yes, we've done um, A1. I can't do A3 because it's a bloody gas giant. What's the next best thing in this system? Right. I'm going to hide these asteroids. I'm going to have the moon show if they have minerals. That's a great moon. We'll have them sent over here then. Right, so Berlin, pick up the team. Pick up the Natasha William. Some team. Have them dropped off on four. That's right, I believe, yes. We're gonna pick them up first, haven't we? That's the right, it's definitely four if I'm sending them to. Sure if minerals. Right, okay, I got that one wrong. Let's see, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I can change that once they pick them up. Okay. to those orders. Alright, so we'll have them pick up the team. Well, they already have the team on board. Yeah. And obviously the commander. Right. Is it here that we're going to? I need to check this again. Ah, <laughs> oh, god, I'm so bad. Show of mirrors. I just want to be sure. I don't want to send them to the wrong goddamn system. Right, so it's IV. Okay. Maybe. Yep. I think I was sending them to the right one anyway. Ah well, it's better to be sure. What? Okay, I'm a little bit confused here. We definitely have the team, yeah. Why am I not getting these... ...options? Do I have to make it a colony first? We'll see, we'll see. Okay, we'll add a colony here. Ah, dangerous gas methane, okay. Alright, so we'll add um, a colony here. I'm about to Berlin. Okay, there we go. Now we can do it. That's strange. Go and do that. Fantastic. Scientists are working full whack. That'll be ready soon. So we can get some Mason turrets basically for even more anti-missile defense. Yeah, so uh, what we might end up doing is basically having something like one laser to basically give us that um, unrelenting firepower. Because obviously they don't cost any energy, well they don't cost any ammunition because they don't use it, they just use power. And yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Looking forward to having the reduced size launchers. Right, you've been dropped off on the moon, fantastic. So let's issue those orders once again. Right, so the nearest jump point. I'm going to turn off save the surveyed bodies. 359. Yeah, not done yet. Such a good world. I wish it was actually properly colonizable. If it was something like Earth, that would be great. But it's a cold hellhole, but it's a cold hellhole with a great resource. Well, set of resources. How are we doing on this? Right, 53.6% done. Reach only for the distos. No, uh, Dystos. I think it might be Dystos. Okay. Wait for this to go by. We'll have to redesign the escort soon with the new launchers once we have them. But I think with the new size missiles and the launchers, we'll have a lot more weight, and then we could probably put more into armor, really. I love this composite armor, it's really good actually. It's a lot better than the high density geranium. Just the fact that it's just tougher, it saves us more weight, it's just such a great thing to invest in. 
It's just perfect. Okay. Right. Ah, right. So we suffered gravitational sense of failure on the Berlin. Repairs have been carried out. Okay. How many are... Uh... Right, okay. Damage control. Where am I looking here? Mm. I don't know what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm trying to see when it actually tells me how many maintenance supplies I have. Right, oh, right, there we go. Maintenance capacity is 1,584 MSP. So does that mean we can repair up to that much or something? Annual failure rate is 280%. That's strange. Did I not put any maintenance on these ships or something? Let's go, um... Actually, let's go back to our designs. Let's take a look at the 4.1. Right, 4.1. It, it has a really large maintenance life, so I don't know what the problem is, but they have more than enough uh, materials to repair those things. Right, so complete research into the Mason focusing. Great. Wait, did I actually... Ah, that's new. I didn't know I could do that. Ah, that's lovely. Yeah, can't do it again, though. I think I've turned that off. Right, then. I need your weapons. So I don't need it to be large, I just need it to be small and really fast. True track and speed. Well, yeah, okay. I need some focusing technology. Increasing the range would be quite nice. But having faster rotating turrets would be just beneficial for everything, really. Alright. Wow. 15,000, Jesus. Mm, I kind of like the idea of having a spinal mount for a laser, really. It's a large cost research, but oh well. Well, let's take a look. Well, we have another lab here, we can prone to some fun. Prone to the spicy thunder. Resolution 50. Okay. Hmm. I would love the new, 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 new armor, but you know. Uh, thermal reduction would be great as well. Damage control. Hmm. Well, let's see. We need to design our new launches, don't we? We sell launch reload rates. Just, yeah. Well, actually, what we could do is increase the... Oh, that's going to be quite harsh. Hmm. Maybe we could go to power propulsion. Well, let's check out sensors and fire control, see if we find anything else over here. Uh, that could be quite handy. Beam fire control range. Um. Okay, there's nothing that's. Well, that's quite handy actually. Go to power propulsion. I do want that really small reactor actually. Right, E8 EMP magneto drive. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And yeah, that's the fusion reactor I want. So we'll start that research. Okay. Well, Freya is actually really good with an energy weapon, so it wouldn't take that long, I guess. Okay, we'll go back to energy weapons then. 
and yeah. Well, I'm going to make the turret tracking speed just a lot better, because it's, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. So we'll have Freya do that. Okay. Right, things are going well. Once we're retooled, we can start building the gate uh, construction ships. And then we can really start with the colonization efforts. I don't want to design a colonization ship of 10,000 tons because I die. It, it's, it's just not worth it. It's really not worth it. I'd like to have something that's going to be able to do the job properly. Okay. I mean, I know uh, probably a lot of people would have established quite a few colonies by now, but I, I don't like the idea of having lots and lots of tiny colonies. I'd rather have colonies that matter. Right, so we completed the Spicy Thunder Surprise. Great. We completed that uh, small reactor I wanted. So we have four labs spare now, so might as well put them into here. Yep, there we go. That's more labs. Great. So we'll go back to our designs. And back to the... What did I call it? The Distos? No, that's the wrong one. Uh... Uh, what did I call it again? <laughs> uh, Doxa, that was it. Okay. Composite armor, yup, yup, yup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of these. And then we'll design new ones. I'm also going to get rid of these and design new, uh, well, things. Okay. So you can see how much that brings the weight down. Okay. So we're going to add that power reactor, or that reactor. There we go. That's a 1.2. Lovely. So that brings that up fantastic. So we now have uh, the proper ability now to actually use that laser. So that's great. So we're going to design those new launchers. Or do we have the new launcher tech yet? Not yet, but soon, very soon, about a month we'll have it. Fantastic. Okay. Oh dear. Well, what we should do on Earth is actually start constructing those new missiles. Hello. God. Right, we're going to have to send the Toronto back to Earth. A lot of people have been reassigned, or just dismissed, yeah. Okay. Fucking Toronto. Is the Toronto in the 359 system? I think it is, actually. Yeah, that's with the Proxima, okay. So what we'll do then is we'll gather the fleet in Toronto. Uh, wait, did these actually have jump tent launcher? I don't think they did. No, pretty sure they didn't. Right. Hmm. Task room. Proxima. Join the task group. Remove that. Ah, God damn it. Right, just join the Proxima's task group. Oh, can I do it already? So I can save the time. Right, the Proxima. Yeah, the nine range. So I'm going to have to have that do that then. Okay. I'll have them join together. Then I'll have uh, the Toronto sent back to Earth for renovations and overhaul. Right. So we got that done fantastic. Now what should we start working on? Power propulsion. Hmm. This would be so good to have for everything. I mean we could start working on this and start working towards the next level of like engine technology. Then again we could also work on some of these things. Like shipbuilding rate for damn sure. 
mining production. Uh, smaller jump gate construction modules would be great. Actually, no, that just makes it faster, doesn't it? Okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I'll put some people onto this then. We'll get that done. And then at least we can build ships faster then, which is going to be great. Okay. So let's go ahead and design our new launchers. Preferably if I went on the right thing. It's our launchers. So we need the size one then, so let's see. So 0.5. If I make that... Right, so this is quite interesting then. So it'd be able to fire size 2 missiles, but the launcher is only size 1. And it's a lot faster, so if we put that on like standard, you can see... Okay. Oh! Okay. Right, I'm an idiot, aren't I? I read it the wrong way around. Oh, I'm gonna get so much in the comments telling me I'm an idiot. <laughs> right, so that just increases the time. But not entirely bad, I mean, especially for, like, larger things. Oh no, actually that's not too bad, but we'll see how that works out for us. What we'll do then is we'll just make this a normal one. Make this the fast normal. Yeah, okay, so, if you please, there we go. 30 seconds, yep, yep, that's great, yep, fantastic, brilliant, whatever. Um, okay. Size 1, launcher. Uh. I will call this the AMM launcher, so AMM. M launcher, then we know what we're doing here. So create that project. Now let's go to the five. Now this is gonna be firing the spicy whatevers. And it's gonna be 150 seconds anyway. Fucking hell. But uh why am I doing this right? Yeah, size five. Yeah. So what we could do here then is Basically, still have the same size launch, but it would be able to launch the size 10s, but obviously you look at that reload, it's not worth it. It'd be worth it for larger things, but it would give us that dual purpose, so I might use it for other things in the future, like something on like a utility sort of ship. But standard, standard, yep. 150 seconds, about 5 size 5 missiles. So this is going to be our ASM launcher, so ASM launcher, create that project, great. Good, good, very good. Actually, we'll cancel this, and then we'll get onto those two projects, some missiles and kinetics. Right, uh, get you on this larger project, give you ten. Uh, get you on this. Obviously more than you need. Right. Okay. 29th of December, so at least then it's going to be within a month. I, I can't add any more here, sadly. Okay. So, um, I'll have to design the Mason Cannons next month or something. God, it's so much to do! I just don't want to build a ship that's going to be crap, you know? I don't want to have my first engagement be my last. I want it to go well, so I'm trying to put everything into it, making just just trying to make the best decision I can with them. All right, so we've got the Toronto in here, great. So we're going to cancel all these orders and have you go to Earth. Just going to turn off these orders for now. There we go. So we're going to go to Earth. Stand in transit. Where's Earth? Earth. There we go. And, um, yeah, begin up. Rewind. It's what we need. The team's still working here, aren't they? Hmm. Team's kind of made. Right, yeah, so they're on A2. Did we finish the scan of A2? I think... May of. Not sure. I haven't seen it down here, so not yet. Right, are we on this world then? Is that the one we're scanning now? Possibly. But we'll just skip forward a 30 day cycle and we'll see what happens. 
I need the Toronto to get some maintenance though. It's surprising considering the fact of how much maintenance supplies they have on board. I made them to be ships that be able to stand a hell of a lot of stress. Okay. Right. Complete research into that. Ah! We found a new jump point in the Ross 128 system. There you are. We'll just go with that then, the uh, Berlin. Okay. Now I wonder where that could lead. What we're going to do then is we're going to have the Berlin stop its orders for now. So cancel. Cancel all this. I want you to head to the jump point. So just move to the jump point. Then I'll have the Marathon join you. Where's the Marathon? Ah oh, yes, the Ghost Proxima. Okay, yes. Head to the Ross 128 system. Head to the unexplored, and then wait there. Then we'll send uh, both groups together. Well, I could probably merge them, which I'll merge them, I guess. Okay. That project's been completed. That one is going to be January, so it's going to be this month. Some more into that. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing what we have on the other side of this system, then. I mean, our Marathon command ship is not great. It's not really meant for direct combat. It's just to allow other ships to pass through into jumps. Okay, Burns completed orders. Yeah. Go to Sol. Go to Proxima is on its way. Yeah, the Proxima has arrived. Lovely. Everybody's in and out. So working on these labs. Alright, how has this taken so long? Surprisingly long. Hmm. I need to check on the uh, retooling of the shipyards and how long we're going to actually be waiting. And we are already building a Presper, so I'll have to see how long until we have our first Presper class. Right, there we go. This is research. Rightio. And the Ghost of Prosma task group is in the 128 system. There we go. So what we're going to do then is have the Berlin join the Proxima task group. Have you translate into there. Now we'll have the Proxima translate into the system. Right, so we're going to translate there through the warp. Go back to Sol. We have more mineral packets on their way to Earth. Lovely. Proxima. So... What? Not seen it unless they've already done it. They may have done it, but I'm going to leave them there for the time being so they can complete shore leave. And then I'll send them back out. Right, so we have our size 5 launcher. Oops. So if we go over to our designs, we go to the... Dogs are. Right. Now, this is fire control, that's probably a, like overkill, but we'll see. So, you can see how light these are now. Let's so add three of those or something. Maybe, maybe four. Five brings us up to 8,000 tons. Five size one notches is, is absolutely tiny, but that would be great for us. Now, what we need is a magazine. So, with this, we should be able to slap some more armor on and just generally make this a hell of a lot better. Just a lot better in every way, really. Looking forward to it, really. Right, so I need to design a new magazine. So much to design, so much to do. Constantly busy. Right, where's the magazine? There we go. 
So, uh, how big do I want this magazine to actually be? Oh god, I need to start constructing um, missiles on Earth, don't I? Completely forgot about that. Completely forgot. I also need to make the maze on turret, so let's go into this then. So we have feed efficiency of 80%, which is okay, it's better than base. Yep, composite armor, so it's a little bit better. Right, so we're gonna have a size 6. Should be okay. Uh, two hits to kill it, whoops, two, two, there we go. Um, so it's 300 tons then, okay. What would size 10 be? 500 tons. We'd have a capacity of 155. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller. Well, what's 5 like? 5 is 77, so that's not good. 6 is 92, but 7. 7 is 108. It's 350 tons. I mean, size 10, we get a solid 155, and it's a nice round number, which is easy to work with. So I'll go for a size 10 magazine, and then we can have a good amount of... Oh, explosion chance is 30. Does that decrease for this smaller magazine? No. Hmm. I'm just thinking of the weight, really. I mean, if we wanted to have two magazines, which would give us about... So two of these size uh, 300 magazines would only give us about a, well, 184. While as if we have the size 10s, we get much more capacity. Obviously we're not likely to have the size 10s, well two of them. I don't know actually. But with two size 10s we'd gain 310 capacity, and that's about a thousand tons. Hmm. We'd be able to ha we'd be able well, we'd be able to store a hell of a lot of missiles on that. I think I'm gonna go with a size six, though, you know. Hmm. Let's think about it. We could have size 7, and then at least we're storing over 100 missiles, so we'd have 8 and 108, and that's only 350 tons. So I think I'm going to go for the size 7 then, so we're going to go with the, uh, uh, size 7 magazine. Mm. Oh fuck it, I'm going to make, I'm going to make the decision. If we go to 8, we get 124. At 400 tons. We're gonna go for that then. Ah, but then again, I, it's like how much do I really want? But I want a lot of missiles, but I want other things as well, so this is a problem. Ah. I'm gonna go for more missiles. I'm gonna go for more. It's more efficient because if we have like two of the smaller ones, then yeah, it's gonna cost more in weight. So I'm gonna go with that then. Okay. So we have those uh, things here, spur, fantastic, some missiles and kinetics. Uh, there it is. Hmm. Well, actually, we only have 10 labs, so I might as well put that in for a 40% bonus, so that's like 5 cent extra then, Freya. I, ne I need more scientists, just better scientists, like, god damn. <laughs> I just don't think we get any at all. Right, these projects will be done pretty quickly, actually. Right, we'll have the end of a research lab next month. Fantastic. Okay, I'm looking forward to going through the une unexplored system. So we'll have a day tick by, we'll translate into the new system via the warp. Let the chaos gods be. Uh oh. Well, that's disappointing. What kind of system is this, then? So, it is a single star system. Julie's 526. So these 526 you are entirely disappointing. Alright, so let's drag this. Whoops. There we go. Lineup systems. Kinda not right. Yeah. 